up, everyone? We're back. We're back. Man, we're all here at Carolina Adventure World just hanging out. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Everyone and welcome back to another segment of Raise Your Dreams. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'm Benny Rodriguez and unfortunately Cody couldn't be here with us because he's uh, TDY at Nellis Air Force Base and a huge military exercise. If you haven't been following us on Instagram or Facebook, uh, you probably wouldn't know that Cody and I, founders of Raise Your Dreams, are both active duty airmen stationed here at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. North Carolina. But the reason why I wanted to do this video tonight was to give you an inside look of your stock skid plate that comes on your Polaris RZR 900S. So let's take a look at this thing. Um, if you weren't, uh, like I said before, if you haven't been keeping up to date with the things that we're doing, uh, last month we went on a trip and I had an accident which caused my cage to tweak and I uh, busted up a couple plastics. Um, I was totally fine. I was wearing my four-point harnesses. I had my helmet on, my gloves, my goggles like we always do. So I came out of the accident fine. Um, the car on the other hand, as you can see behind me, did it. Um, but it's nothing that we couldn't handle in a garage. So uh, while we pulled off the cage and painted the, uh, the uh, excuse me, while we pulled off the uh, plastics in the cage, and we primed and painted those, we are finally now ready to reassemble this thing. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to make sure I gave it a nice look over check the wells to make sure there weren't any cracks, and uh, pull the skid plate off to see kind of what was under there. And I was really surprised with what I found. And that's about two years worth of dirt, and sand and stuff. So, I mean, I don't think it's that bad at all. It's not bad. But here's what the undercarriage looks like. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad at all either, you know. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. No big deals, you know, got some mud and stuff forming up and collecting there, but I mean, overall, not a big deal at all. Was it worth pulling it all off while I had it apart? Sure, I can check things out, make sure there's no cracked wells or anything like that, but every, I mean, it already looks fine. I don't see any issues, it's all good. Good to go. All right, so as you know, um, it's really not that dirty um, pulling this thing off. I thought it was gonna be caked with mud. With us being here in North Carolina, um, we run into mud all the time, almost every time we go out. So I was really surprised that I didn't find a lot more mud and grime up in there. It was funny though, because I did see a lot of red rock uh, from when I was out west. Um, Jesse and I, we came here from New Mexico about a year and a half ago, and that's where I originally bought this car. I bought it in May of 2017, so I did a lot of riding in New Mexico, Colorado, and Arizona. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and just check this thing out. My first impression when I went down under the car to pull this thing off was, wow, this is actually a very well-designed, well-built, robust piece of plastic. So. Um, if you're like me, you're probably on the internet all the time looking at parts for your car. Um, and the skid plate was one of those parts that I would run by every once in a while and wonder, do I really need to upgrade my skid plate? Is it going to hold up for me? Well, I will tell you in my personal opinion, if you're an East Coast rider, um, your skid plate on your stock RZR is perfectly fine and I personally think uh, more than enough uh, to, to take care of you when you're out on the trails. However, um, I do want to put a caveat in there that if you are out in the southwest or you're maybe, maybe in Utah in that area and you do a lot of rock crawling um, and you find yourself in some pretty tight situations often, you probably want to look at upgrading but I think I'm fine and after pulling this thing off I am now 100% confident that my skid plate is is more than enough to take care of the essential elements of the bottom of this car um, now keep in mind I'm not talking about any of the a arms or things of that nature but um, pulling this thing off this is the rear um, and after a real uh, micro measurement this thing is coming just under a quarter inch thick 
Now, if you look at it, you'll think that it does kind of thin out in some areas, but that's actually not the case. It looks like it's molded from the same piece of thickness, um, and it's very robust. Uh, it's held on to the bottom of the car by about eight to 12 bolts. Um, so pulling it off was very easy. And now that I have it off, I'm thinking that it's, um, it weighs a good amount of, uh, it, it, it weighs good, like it has a good weight, you know, it makes you feel really confident in this piece of plastic. And so that's the rear. And if you look here, I mean, it's really scratched up hard right here. So um, I've, I've, you know, I put this thing to use, so it's not like uh, we've been uh, putting around and, and just cruise on the pavement. So um, that's the rear piece. That measures at the widest part at about 22 inches wide. And here's the main piece. And I have the same type of uh, uh, outlook on this main part that I do as the rear. Um, very robust, well built, it's real thick plastic. Um, this uh, at its widest point measures 44 and 7 8 inches wide from, from side to side. Um, and it plug, it's a plug and play piece of uh, uh, plastic. So this basically goes in in sync with the rear skid plate. They kind of they kind of link up together in the middle. Um, so pulling them off was really easy, and I'm now 100% confident that I no longer have to go online and look for skid plates because I personally think being an East Coast rider, this is more than enough. So if you're out there and you have the same types of car, um, I'm gonna assume that they're putting the same exact skid plate, uh, the same type of durable skid plate on all of their uh, side-by-sides. So if uh, that was something you were wondering, now you know. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to make up your own mind what's good for you. You know, some folks like to put a little bit more time and energy into different pieces of their machines. Um, but now I don't have to worry about this. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Please give us a like and don't forget to leave a comment down below. While I have this car tore apart, if there's something you want to see on it um, that uh, maybe you haven't been able to see on yours or you want us to check something out, follow us on Instagram and put a comment in there and let us know what specifically you'd like to see. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you later. What is up everyone? We're back, we're back. Man, we're all here at Carolina Adventure World just hanging out. Thanks a lot for tuning in. What's up, Razor Dreams fans? Man, we're all here at Carolina Adventure World just hanging out. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, we're getting a lot of good video for you guys. This place is pretty amazing. We're down here in South Carolina, about uh, 20 minutes uh, from Shaw Air Force Base for all of our Air Force folks out there. But um, yeah, the weather is really nice. It's a little cool, but hey, stay tuned because we're gonna drop a few more photos tonight and uh, catch you later.